In this presentation, we will explore the conversion of regular expressions to non-deterministic finite automata, or NFA, using Thompson's construction algorithm. Thompson's construction provides a systematic approach to generate automata. It converts regular expressions into equivalent NFAs by applying recursive construction rules. Thompson's construction offers a method to convert any regular expression into an equivalent non-deterministic finite automaton, also known as an NFA, that possesses specific structural properties. Key features include a single start state, a single accept state, and the use of epsilon transitions for combining subatomata. Let us explore the base cases for Thompson's construction. For a single symbol, a, the construction involves two states connected by a single transition labeled with that symbol. For an empty string denoted as epsilon, the construction consists of two states connected by an epsilon transition, indicating that no input is consumed during this transition. Next, we delve into the concatenation operation. Given two regular expressions, R1 and R2, their concatenation is written as R1, R2. The construction method connects the accept state of R1 to the start state of R2 using an epsilon transition. The new NFA starts at the start state of R1 and accepts at the accept state of R2. Now, consider the union operation. For two regular expressions, R1 and R2, their union is written as R1 or R2. The construction method involves creating new start and accept states. The new start state connects to both the start states of R1 and R2 with epsilon transitions. Similarly, the accept states of both R1 and R2 connect to the new accept state with epsilon transitions. Let us discuss the clean star operation. Given a regular expression R, the clean star is written as R star. To construct this, new start and accept states are created. The new start state connects to both the start state of R and the new accept state with epsilon transitions. Additionally, the accept state of R connects to both the start state of R and the new accept state with epsilon transitions, allowing for repetition. Here are the construction algorithm steps in pseudocode. The Thompson construction function takes a regular expression as input. If the regular expression is a single symbol, a basic NFA for that symbol is created and returned. If the regular expression is a concatenation, the function combines the left and right NFAs and returns the combined NFA. If the regular expression is a union, the function combines the left and right NFAs using the union operation and returns the combined NFA. Finally, if the regular expression is a clean star, the star operation is applied to the inner NFA and the resulting NFA is returned. Let's summarize the properties and advantages. The structural properties guarantees exactly one start state, one accept state, and systematic epsilon transition usage for clean composition. The implementation benefits are, it is a simple recursive algorithm, there is predictable state count, and it serves as a foundation for regular expression engines and compilers. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.